This is someone who you feel has no intentions of giving a true apology or apology or authentic generosity towards you. I feel like this is someone who changed on you abruptly or this is someone who has disappointed you greatly. For many of you, this is someone who is always wasting the time of others through strategy. This energy really has no true goals though. Hmm. This is someone you also feel like their motives are not clear because they always seem to vanish. This is someone who always seems to vanish or disappear. Now they're wanting to communicate discreetly. I feel like this energy wants to communicate through a secret text, but there are some deleted evidence or someone is wanting to reach out, but this energy is deleting the message before they even send it. This is someone who just abruptly changed or abruptly disappeared, ghosted you, went missing for no reason, no explanation. I feel like this is someone who really doesn't have any plans when it comes to their actions, but I feel this energy always seems to keep a grudge or hold some type of resentment when it comes to bitter feelings or unresolved issues from the past. You could be dealing with a runner. A runner who just abruptly changed on you, who now feels like something was a big mistake. Someone knows that something they did or said towards you was a big mistake. Possibly you them holding a grudge or having low expectations of change. This energy may have isolated themselves or iced you out. This energy gave you the silent treatment, avoided you, avoided a conversation or something that needed to be spoken, or this energy just didn't like the fact that you called them out. I feel this energy iced you out and gave you the silent treatment because you told the truth when it comes to them procrastinating and not giving a true apology. I feel this is someone who you feel doesn't have the energy of being clear about where they're going with something. This energy is moving with no real purpose, especially when it comes to the expectations of an apology or a broken promise is this energy just detached. Hmm. Heartbreaker energy here. This energy is a heartbreaker. This is a runner energy who feels like it's just easier to run and hide. This is cowardly energy, cowardly behavior of a coward. Someone who is unable to face reality. Hmm. Unable to face issues head on. This is someone who just can't look you in the face. And I feel things are falling into place and falling apart. Things are getting bigger than expected for someone who just walked away. Someone who just pretends to be oblivious to being a tease or misleading you. This is someone who screwed everything up through self-sabotage. Self-sabotage by ghosting you, running, or playing with a third party or false environment, third party energy here. Someone did something unexpected because of trying to fit in, trying to live up to a standard, trying to be a rebel. Please take it how it resonates, but someone took the coward's way out by holding a grudge or giving you the silent treatment. But someone is now realizing that was a big mistake now that you are suspicious or you see straight through them. This is someone who wanted their freedom and they're overly confident about misleading you. There's false impressions attached to this energy who is holding back the truth. This energy misleads you by being a jokester. This energy comes in with immature behaviors, pretending that they didn't know enough or something was new to them. But even if that was true, this energy knew enough not to hurt you. They now see something was a big mistake because you're now being more cautious with your energy, especially when it comes to a third party energy where there is deception and excuses when it comes to their behaviors. This energy is very much so misleading. This energy is coming in with silly, playful energy, wanting to be discreet about their communication and whatever has happened in the past. There's a lot of trauma, hurt, and pain here. This is unresolved childhood issues for someone here. Please take it how it resonates. But it's keeping them lazy to speaking on what's misleading them because they barely know the truth themselves. But this energy is holding back and being reclusive, having tunnel vision when it comes to their lies. As their addictions and weaknesses is the reason why they're detached and somewhat broken from the trauma and pain. 
there's a lot of things that keeps them desperate or codependent to a love triangle, a third party, or a false environment. This is someone who needs time away, time to self, time to heal, or understand their own toxic ways. Because if they don't understand these toxic ways, they'll always end up hurting those who never meant, who were never meant to be hurt. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who will always bleed on those who never cut them. Because they have tunnel vision when it comes to pain. Detaching from the pain they cause, being misleading when it comes to affairs of the heart, being misleading when it comes to being overly confident within their lives. As this energy will always make excuses for being detached from their pain. Hmm. Detached from their deceptions, this energy is very guarded and superficial to being oblivious or pretending to not have a bad attitude. This energy is trying to pretend like they're not dysfunctional or spiteful. This energy is in denial about being incomplete or making something more complicated than it needed to be because things definitely spiral for someone who is now lost or pretending to have memory loss, pretending to forget the details when it comes to their vengeful ways. Someone's definitely being spiteful when it comes to you. Someone's trying to prove you wrong or hurt your feelings on purpose. But I feel so, like something backfired. I feel like when this energy broke the bond or disappointed you in a very big way, I feel something really broke the camel's back here. Someone's being lazy. Someone got sloppy about being in the streets or got sloppy and something spilled out. This runner energy got exposed and this is why someone is wanting to discreetly reach out to you. We're going to get one more card here. There's a lot of lies. This energy was very confident about taking the coward's way out. But there is a, a loophole here. Someone created this big mistake themselves. They thought they were independent and their silence was keeping something from being exposed. But someone feels like they need to tell you first or someone wants to figure out what you know. Let's get some more energy here. Broken promises. This is someone who has made a lot of promises and broke a lot of them as well. I feel like this is someone who has broke more promises than they have kept. But this energy is always coming in with playful or dismissive energy never really acknowledging the past this energy always keeps a grudge but they don't like it when others are standing in their ground or standing with intention this energy doesn't like the fact that you are standing your ground when it comes to them or you're allowing karma to have their way let's get some more energy here Someone's definitely being childish or the innocence of a situation has definitely been affected. Someone knows that the innocence has been lost. You, they know that you stood up for yourself when it comes to them being a runner or very suspicious about their energy. Someone broke a promise and they're now trying to keep that private. Someone knows that the time away was only to keep you from knowing or seeing something, but they also now realize they can no longer hide or hold something back. Heartbreaker energy is now receiving the same energy that was given through their lies and deception of being free or wanting to be heavily medicated from what's really going on as their lies of broken promises are now catching up to them. I feel like this is someone who has a history of breaking promises or being overly confident in breaking the hearts of others, but I feel this is someone who is now dealing with their own broken heart through lies, deception, silence. It was all a big mistake. Someone knows that now. I feel this is someone who has a history of trauma, betrayal, abusive behaviors, even being a bully for some of you, but I feel this energy has been in the cycle of being rejected themselves. Someone is juggling options, getting low on resources, and this energy is playing the victim when it comes to talking to others. Others are getting tired of them. This energy is wanting to just run, escape. This energy is looking for the exit, but no one is helping. No one is guiding them out. Someone is realizing they're just gonna have to walk this journey alone. This is someone who's trying not to deal with the guilt. Someone is trying not to deal with the guilt of being a player or running from something, playing the victim because it's the only way they can cope with this disaster that they have created. Someone feels like they should have never iced you out and gave no effort. 
Someone knows they gave no effort when it comes to a close bond, a commitment, a relationship. They just crossed the wires within a situation and moved impulsively. There's a true sense of guilt that they're trying to deny, but I feel this guilty conscience is trying or is about to get the best of them. Someone's playing the victim and being private about their pain or being private about their losses, but they can only do that at a distance. And through history, I feel you know this person better than they know themselves because you're just waiting for this energy to fold. And trust me, they will. This is someone who moved because they wanted validation. This is someone who did something impulsively because they wanted to be seen, heard, recognized. This is someone who wanted the approval of others. Someone wanted their ego to be sh stroked. Hmm. So they took a chance, destroyed something by being hot and cold, tapping into their selfish ways and arrogant energy. They sabotaged something by being in a comfort zone. I feel this energy was in a comfort zone when it comes to their values. Someone didn't see the red flags because they were too busy creating attachments. Mm. Obsessing over things, people, places. This is someone who just wanted to be in the new, but now these new things have created a new response of anxiety, fear, because they gave up on a commitment. Now there's boundaries because they're sabotage. I feel like someone gave up on a situation because they felt like they didn't really have to do the work. You would always be there or this energy just thought that they would never get caught. This is someone who's full of ego and overly confident about their choices. This energy thought they were too big to fail. Let's get a little bit more energy here. I feel like this energy wanted validation. This is someone who plays the victim when they know they have victimized others. When it comes to commitment, this energy doesn't have a lot of guilt. This energy is always convincing themselves that they have to make these choices. But I feel this is someone who is always seeming to cross the line. Hmm. There's a lack of effort here for someone who is unwilling to invest in a commitment, something that is strong and solid. This is someone who likes to be in between worlds. But I feel their shame and guilty conscience is starting to get the best of them. Because there is no way out of this. I feel this is someone who is not wanting to give in to the fact that they started this with you. Things were fine. But I feel this is someone who just did not want to grow. This energy was banking on the history of this relationship to save them. Something that was sacred. Someone gave up. And they just became unhealthy, toxic, abusive to this situation. This energy just ended up gaslighting them thinking that they could come back whenever they please. But I feel this is the energy of a doster, someone who is always immature, or silly, or playful, someone who has a pattern of giving in to temptation or weaknesses, or even holding back from you. But I feel in doing so, this energy loses direction, trapping themselves in misery and consequences, addictions, weaknesses, that only end up in knowing or being in misery. Someone's always being inconsistent, creating storms for self by hurting others or being stuck in their ego or pride. This is someone who is always concerned about their uh, image or how they appear. This is someone who could be a bit narcissistic, high value on things that doesn't really matter at all. Hmm. Someone thinks about calling you all the time, but I feel there is a contract that needs to be paid in full. This is a karmic contract. This is a contract full of lessons, no reward. I feel the reward is the survival of the lessons. But someone wants to erratically communicate to you, but I feel access has been denied when it comes to unfinished business. For someone who is sitting in a storm they created. I feel this energy is sitting in a storm that they created because they ignored the, the signs of a situation just to chase a thrill. Now they're under pressure. This is pressure cook, cooker energy of someone who is in stress in their feelings and losing self day to day. I feel like this is someone who feels like they lost their identity. They lost who they were over time, being cold and insecure. I feel over time this energy changed because of how cold their heart is, how insecure they are. 
how this energy is afraid to face someone they know they brought pain to. For some of you, you feel like they just need some therapy. Or it's just too little, too late. Please take it high, Grace and We're going to get a, another card here from this deck. But I definitely feel this energy feels like they lost a lot. And they're sitting in a space of regret. But still moving and going with the flow just to keep from falling apart. I feel like this energy is true. still trying to get a grip on things. Still trying to get a grip on life after losing some big things or losing it in a big way. There's temptation when it comes to commitment. The innocence is lost. Someone should have stood up for something, but they're being inconsistent and playing the victim because they want validation. This is someone who wants the approval of others just to get a little something when it comes to the ego and pride. But someone is going to understand in a very harsh way that all they need is self. Hmm. Because things are starting to become really suspicious. Everyone is questioning the motive or the energy of this person. People are starting to question their energy and their actions because they just keep hurting others or this energy is walking around hurt. It's pretty obvious. This is suspicious energy here. Someone is still keeping things private. They feel like they need time away to deal with the promises that has been broken, but this energy is just lazy. Another reason is this energy doesn't have the right people around them to help them figure something out. This is why they're inconsistent. If they're calling, they're not reaching out often. This energy is hurting and dealing with a lot of pain. I feel for many of you, this is um, something that was overdue. Someone's been sitting in temptation and weaknesses for a very long time. I feel something was bound to heal for someone who's been living like a coward or living like community property for a long time. This is someone who just likes the attention. They like their independence, but I feel to have that in independence, they have to do things in a very coward-like way. For many of you, this energy has no reason to keep a grudge or be vicious towards you, but I feel the bitter feelings that they are projecting onto you is because something just didn't work out. Yeah. Something didn't work out and someone is going through a storm and they're under pressure because of their toxic ways. Their toxic ways, their values only cause something to stagnate because they can't bake on the connection they had with you now that they realize they ignored every sign. Every sign that was was supposed to bring them back to you. I feel like this energy had so many signs before something got too deep. But they ignored the signs because they had lost their identity. Someone was detached from who they truly was to become something else just to fit in, just to follow a different direction. Someone created patterns or got lost in the patterns of being free and holding back. This energy was juggling too many options and they didn't see the red flags. Too busy prowling and chasing a thrill. Someone started an argument with you or started some type of situation that separated the two of you that they're now feeling trapped in. They should have never tried to control this. But I feel this energy having trust issues or relationship issues or having close bonds being an issue, they destroyed it all. They destroyed, every, destroyed everything by being cold and dealing with insecurities. Because over time, it changed everything. And now they're starting to hit it feel it now that things are starting to end. I feel the happiness they thought that they would have, whatever they thought that they were stepping into, this energy believed that they were going to have the best outcome, that they were going to prove you wrong, or they wanted you to see that your assumptions about them was wrong, but I feel everything that they are going through is a validation of what you said would happen in the first place. If that was them missing you in the wrong long run, that is true. This is someone who truly misses you, but this energy is sitting in a space where they're trying not to lock into that. They're still seeking validation and still not satisfied. I feel like this is someone who accused you out of anger. They accused you of something out of anger because they were failing to be logical about wearing a mask and keeping secrets. I feel like this is someone who questioned you 
they were questioning you because they didn't see the pros and cons within a situation. Someone didn't see the pros or the cons between wearing a mask, being fake and phony, being something in front of others and something else in front of you. This is someone who has a lot of secrets of misleading and wanting validation from third parties and false environments. I feel like this energy misled you because of a false connection. They kept secrets. They misled you. They, they were being fake. Someone knows that you can tell the truth about them. This is why this energy just stays at a distance, and they know that you're going to stand up for yourself. This energy is tempted to come towards you with playful energy and discreetly communicate, but I feel many of you don't even expect that. They're too busy getting this validation. I feel like this is someone who is always accusing you out of anger because they're really angry with themselves that misleading you just never worked. But I feel the energy between the two of you is just a little different. You're a little mature, a little bit more mature than they are emotionally. I feel this is someone who is needing to give an apology. I feel an apology is bound to happen. It's inevitable here. But I feel their greed is getting in the way, their greed, their pride, or the fact that they feel something is better, something is bigger out there. It's only causing them more misery. Hmm. Depression. This is someone who is very unhappy and trying to cope with it in various ways. But I feel their regret is about to mount up. Someone's getting bored when it comes to a third party that is misleading. Hmm. Or they feel like they're getting bored where it misleading a third party it's not working out there's false hope here when it comes to a third party energy as well this is misinforming someone else someone is lying both face lies just to keep from something coming out so as i said before someone knows that you can tell the truth about something and they're questioning their karma they're, they're questioning their consequences Someone's getting a taste of their own medicine when it comes to their karmic debt. Something is closing in on them and they're undecided about an apology to you. But I feel their misery and regret is about to lead them to you. This third party is making them angry. But I feel a secret is about to be exposed that makes them angry at a third party. This could be vice versa. Please take it how it resonates. But whoever this is, is walking and moving out of greed thrills and something is about to be final for someone who's sitting in a comfort zone because there's a lot of deceit when it comes to an attachment someone failed to create some boundaries here and they move quickly this energy was hot and cold with you and very arrogant they put in no effort when it comes to a relationship something that was sacred they gave into something that was false hmm. now they're in hermit mode still being selfish Still being selfish when it comes to a friendship, a close bond, something that should have lasted forever. But someone has a history of taking a different direction and having unfinished business all because of their ego and their pride. There's a lot of disrespect. Let's get one more card here. Ego. As I said before, this is someone who just didn't make the right decision when it comes to you. And it only added to their misery and regret for being misleading and coming out of ego. Hmm. Instead of giving you your flowers or giving you an apology, they made something set in stone. Someone's karma is set in stone. Someone's bored. <sighs> Someone knows they hurt you, but they're being inconsistent. They're knowing they need to reach out. Someone's bored. Someone misses you, and it's only causing them more misery. Someone's definitely sitting in a space of misery. Misery they undoubtedly created for themselves, but the fact that they don't see that that is out of intention as well As I said before this is someone who didn't make the right decision when it comes to you They moved against you for selfish reasons that they failed to really acknowledge or even understand at this point as they now feel blocking you or allowing others to do or say things they shouldn't have was a big mistake it only brought more misery you don't trust them the way that you used to something isn't solid anymore they know they should have gave you an apology but this energy was moving out of greed which made something final and for many of you there's no going back hmm. 
Someone thought they were going to have deep pockets. Someone thought that this was going to be a come up. They thought that they had found a diamond. This is sitting on the energy of greed. Someone thought that something was going to work out, so they didn't give you an apology. Someone felt like they knew what they were doing, so they put all their eggs in one basket. Someone gave into something or someone they barely even know. Let's get some more energy here. This could also be something or someone that they were familiar with that I feel the barely even no energy is someone who was presenting themselves as something and ended up being something else because there was no un unconditional love here there was love out of condition someone thought that they were loaded or about to step into abundance but it was only the energy of stepping into misery someone stepped into their own mess of misery out of ego and pride and they're sitting there because of that as well someone's sitting in the space of regret but they're not wanting to admit that so it's only causing them more pain by causing more time to pass. Hmm. Refusing help or energy is just prolonging the pain. Someone feels like you just moved on from this. You're burning away the past. You're trying to forgive them in a big way. And they're wanting to bait you in. They're stashing something. They're holding something back. They're moving in silence when it comes to their cash. They feel like this third party only wants their money. They, they're drinking. They're trying to cope. They're trying to numb the pain. They feel like they have a broken heart. But they feel like they have this broken heart because of how they treated you. They only brought them more pain, more karma. And this pain of consequence is only going to get greater in the end. Someone's trying to stash something away. They feel like a boy toy. They feel like they're being used or... They feel like they're with a stranger, someone sinister, because the love between the two of them is mechanical, without emotion. Someone's trying to think logically, but they're only causing more PTSD between this trauma bond. There's a lot of differences here, and it's causing them to be very triggered. Someone's really triggered. They're having behavior issues. Someone feels like they're losing their freaking mind. This is why they're angry at you. Someone's angry with you because they feel like you just gave up, and I feel you didn't give up. You just had enough. I feel this energy is triggered by this third-party energy who they feel misled them because something is not what they presumed it would be. They're, and this is why they're wanting to discreetly communicate with you and be playful with you just to balance something out. But I feel you standing up for self or holding them accountable is keeping them hesitant or procrastinating because someone knows that you're going to call them out or hold their feet to the fire. Someone wants to communicate, but they make a lot of messages without sending them. This energy thinks all the time about talking to you discreetly, but they always come back to the fact that they left you on red. They ignored you. Someone didn't miss your call. They just never called you back. Someone did that out of spite. Someone did that because they we're too busy but now that you are too busy this energy is hoping that you pick up someone wants you to unblock them or someone wants you to know that you're unblocked please call them back they did it out of spite someone was trying to make you feel some type of way but it ended up backfiring i hope this is someone who knows they should have apologized but they did something to keep you tied this energy knew by blocking you it would make something more intense but this energy never thought that it would be you walking away or never dealing with them again i feel this energy abandoned something with you out of anger there's a separation there's some type of divide when it comes to a family or a close bond Someone should have made a better decision, yet this energy took a leap of faith. This is, you live, you, you only want to live once energy. Someone took a leap of faith and cut ties. Wow. Cutting ties energy caused a separation because someone was moving out of emotion. I feel someone was moving out of emotion or being led like a sheep. Someone thought something was too big to fail, and this is why they allowed others to antagonize a situation. Someone cut ties with you because of who they were following or something that they thought was too big to fail. Someone thought that you were going to stop their flow or call something out or let them know something was a Ponzi, something was a scam. And some, someone just didn't want you to burst their bubble. Now they're triggered, upset, realizing it was a scam. 
It was all a Ponzi scheme. It was all smoke and mirrors. Someone allowed them to fail unapologetically. They allowed someone to control what they were doing, what they were thinking. Someone controlled the energy between the two of you by keeping the two of you apart or co-signing their dark ways. This is someone who allowed someone else to put a key in their back out of strategy. Lies. Someone thought someone, something was too big to fail, so they followed. But it only ended up cursing them in the end. I feel this energy was unresponsive to you because they were chasing a thrill, a dream. But something got out of hand because someone did something too much, too fast, not knowing anything about what they were investing in. But I feel whatever this investment was, it was long term. I feel this investment was long term where someone was not seeing something for what it is. They allowed something or someone to control their movement or their ideas out of strategy. This is a very anti antagonistic energy this could be third party energy people they thought that they could trust people they thought m knew more than them and they took a leap of faith i feel like this energy could care less about what they abandoned and what they could lose as long as they were winning this energy moved impulsively and now there's underlying issues when it comes to stability money and reaching out to you Someone knows they get the most. Someone knows they did something to you without cause. But the true energy of resentment comes from the fact that someone couldn't fix something after they broke something. Because now that they want to run back because they know that you are loyal. Many of you feel they are not. This is what's causing them to be bitter. Because someone feels like it will be too much to heal something with you. They feel like others are antagonizing them others are calling them weak or others are calling them out because you're possibly the best thing that they ever had but someone is doing something out of strategy this could be them or the third party but someone is moving uh, in a way where things are about to explode or backfire in a way where someone's going to have to answer some questions that may be a, a bitter pill to swallow someone will be salty here someone's going to be salty about something and they're going to refuse to answer questions about it they're not wanting to celebrate this but someone's going to take a big loss here this could be financially emotionally mentally st stability wise whatever it is someone's about to create a big loss for themselves and whatever the reason for that they're going to be drawn to you like a magnet someone already feels like they're drawn to you this is another reason why they have a big attitude. They know that someone else put a key in their bag and they reacted. They reacted in a way that may have lost you forever. They should have never cut ties with you or avoided you. Now they feel like not being responsive or these missed calls or these unread messages may have ended something forever. For many of you, you feel like they didn't pick up or call you back just to antagonize you, and I feel that is also true. But I feel this energy was just too tied into following or being a sheep. This energy just didn't have time to do the right thing. Let's get some energy here. Holy Spirit, what are the messages here? This is someone who is angry because they know they can't wiggle themselves out of this now that they know that you are woke. Now that they know that you are suspicious or you see through something, you are okay with the fact that someone has cut their ties to deal with their karma. You're not wanting to be mixed in with that. Because you know this energy is too lazy. They couldn't change for you. They're not going to change for someone else. Yeah, this energy is triggered by the karma that they are receiving. They know they antagonized you, but someone is not wanting to admit that. Because they're too lazy. <laughs> Just keep popping out. I'll leave it out there. I'll take off. 
someone's realizing they're cursed, they can't find something to feel the void of the old, they're triggered. This is a masculine energy, someone who moves on impulsively. This could be female or male, please take it how it resonates. But this energy knows that they were very compatible to you, the yin to their yang. But this energy did something impulsively just to antagonize you, just to make you feel like they had options. But this energy lost you in the process, running after something they wanted, they lost something they needed. Oh, wow, that was heavy. Insatiable. This energy never seems to be satisfied. That's what I get when I cook the day. They don't know who they are. This is why they're never satisfied. This is why they avoid you. This energy has been hot and cold with you going to the extremes. This energy has been very inconsistent distorted, avoiding you, and disassociating themselves because it was a scare tactic. Hot, being hot and cold is to antagonize you. This is a scare tactic of trying to arouse a fear or alarm you because someone is trying to deal with their own demons of never being satisfied and giving in to pleasures. This energy has become a liar liver. Wow. This is someone who has become a liar. A storyteller someone who is fab fabricating situations and sabotaging things in the process all because of their lies I feel like this is someone who was trying to hold you hostage by arousing your alarms or your fears through tactics keeping you hostage out of control betrayal leaving something unresolved so that you will always seek their energy. But now someone is burnt out from their lies or trying to antagonize you because it's brought on more responsibility. Something has reached its peak and this energy is now feeling like they're in too deep. If they feel like they're in too deep when it comes to a very toxic situation. They feel like they're in the wrong hands or Vice versa, when it comes to a thirst trap, someone wants to be isolated or someone wants to walk away from a tyrant energy, someone who they feel now is very cruel. There's a lot of abusive words here and they feel like they're being singled out, not just by this third party, but people who are attached to this third party. It almost feels like a tag team, like they're ganging up. They feel like they're being bullied. This energy feels like they fell into a thirst trap and things are starting to be revealed or exposed and they're wanting to isolate themselves. They feel like something is being pushed to a peak. This energy is feeling like they're responsible for things that there shouldn't be. And they feel like things are just getting out of hand. Things are going to the extreme. Someone knows that what they accepted or settled, settled for only brought them more pain, but I feel they only took this route because they thought what they what went wrong between the two of you was only supposed to be temporary. But now that feel, now that someone feels something is long term, they feel that they have cursed themselves because you you may never see them the same. Someone feels like they overstayed their welcome or they have overdone something with you. They've gone too far trying to antagonize you through ego. Now they're dealing with regrets that they never thought that they would deal with. Let's get some final energy here. Holy oh, Spirit, what are the messages? Gaslighting you. This is a psychological game for someone who is trying to manipulate you out of strategy. But I feel this is someone who was playing uno and you're playing chess this is someone who is definitely realizing you are out of their league when it comes to heart and mental situations this is someone who just doesn't know you enough to play these type of games someone felt that they could just love on you after gaslighting you now they feel like they need to send a message there's some mental issues here for someone who thought that they could just hold you hostage or keep something going for so long. For some of you, this has been years and for some of you, days, months. But I feel someone thought that they could just come back into this after being unresponsive. Leaving you on red. Someone missed some calls on purpose just to annoy you, just to alarm you or bring you to a space where you would do anything to keep them. But I feel something backfired for someone who is being just a little bit too private. I feel like this is someone who overheard something. They were secretly listening to a conversation here with this third party and something that was private. 
Something that they didn't know at all has been revealed. Something that they never expected to hear was exposed from someone's own mouth. This is not someone hearing something about someone else. Someone got caught saying something they shouldn't. This is something that is private. This is something that is truly painful and hurtful because they're now realizing they got played. They got played by a third party or a group of people where the scare, scare tactics are real. They're now realizing being hot and cold with you was part of the plan, part of the pushback for the thirst trap. Now they feel like they're dealing with a difficult person who is hard to please. Uh, this is someone who's coming out as a drama queen or king. Please take it how it resonates, but I feel this is someone who has been disappointed by someone who is also playing the victim. Someone's doing something privately, sneaking around or trying to discover something. This could be their energy because they've heard something that was supposed to be private and they're really triggered about it. In fact, this energy is salty because they did all of this and they lost so much in the process. They feel like they have a excessive baggage that is causing them to open up and give out their heart. And even if it is to you, this is why this is someone who is just having a hard time to tap into their heart because it's so broken and guarded. This is someone who has their heart on lock because this third party has just ruined everything. They gave up everything or did what they could to have what they want with this energy and something fell big time. Someone found out something through listening or doing something behind the scenes. Someone finessed the situation. They realized this third party finessed them and they feel like they've been rejected. They're guarding their heart. They're feeling salty and realizing they got dis disappointed by someone who just used them. They're thinking about how hot and cold they were with you or how naive they were to love because now they feel like they have nowhere else to go or this energy feels like they did all of this for nothing. This energy feels like they're on the rebound. They feel like they're heavily tied down or burdened by life, by love. Because it's all a competition. This energy thought that they could talk their way out of something. Someone thought that they could hurt you by hurting self. Someone was depriving you at their own expense. Now this energy is on a mission because of what they heard, what they've been through. The losses that they're about to go through will be great. It will push them to clean house. But for now, this energy is still dealing with competition and heartbreak. The trail when it comes to a third party. Something is blocked. When it comes to their finances, what they had when they left you is not what they have now. Things have been broken down tenfold. Someone is dealing with a lot of loss when it deals with a smooth-talking third party who is bleeding them dry. Someone has a lot of ego here, thought they were too big to fail. But I feel this is someone who was only prolonging the pain when it comes to the smoke and mirrors. I feel this is someone who is going through retribution as they are dealing with life and you're running naked through their head or I feel like you're just in their head in a very big way and this energy is wanting to take action to heal the pain or come towards you but this energy is intimidated by their own lies intimidated by what they know you know have what, what you have evidence of this energy pretends to be stable but they're not something about this situation just doesn't make sense we're gonna get one more card here on Holy Spirit confirmation <clears throat> hmm. something is being exposed so as I said before something is being exposed someone heard something and this is not word of mouth someone's sneaking around and overheard something that they didn't expect to hear and they feel a sense of betrayal that has them thinking about what they gave up all for this pain, all for this misery, and this is why they're really angry, because they know the truth now. Someone spoke up on something here and they heard the truth. The truth is exposed here through a third party. This could be through friends speaking or this third party speaking to a family member, 
about you or them, but whatever the case may be, something is exposed that they didn't know, and it's a big deal. It's a couple of things here that are being exposed. I feel there's money involved here. Someone is realizing someone took more than they claim they have, or someone caused this separation between you and them on purpose. But something is definitely exposed here. There could also be innocent life, a lie about innocent energy here. Please take it how it resonates, but someone is realizing this is retribution for the pain they caused with you. Because had they set boundaries, they would have never fell into this betrayal of blood-sucking energy. But I feel this is poetic justice. I feel this is poetic justice in a situation where there's a lot of smoke and mirrors that someone avoided, but now that something is being exposed and someone has heard the truth, someone is wanting to make right with you. Let's get a last deck out here. I'm going to end this, you guys. I know I'll just be rambling on. I'm wasting your time. We're going to cut this high and dry and get a little bit more conversation. Sometimes I just kind of get lost in the reading. Um, abandonment. Someone now wants to shipwreck, uh, abandon ship. This is someone who feels like they are neglected. They are intimidated about reaching out to you. But I feel it's all because they have this big ego. Someone's flirting with life, teasing, and someone only prolonged their pain. So I'm just thinking about something that you said. Hmm. This is why you're all in their head. Someone knows they need to give a naked truth. But it's very intimidating. Their betrayal is very intimidating. It's, they feel like it's too much. You're going to walk away. You'll never come back. It'll never be worth telling the truth. But I feel telling you the truth is something that you can respect more than their lives. I feel this is someone who has done a lot. I feel this is someone who needs to be a bit brave to really prove something to you especially if they claim to be on a mission to clean house because if they're not on sitting in their energy already they're about to be because there's a lot of turbulence and chaos headed their way someone's gonna be need to be bold yet this energy is sitting in solitude someone who took a leap of faith a risk taker someone who is wild a thriller someone who is reckless created this facade, this false reality. Someone was pretending not to see a truth within an illusion. This is a risk taker energy who is now in solitude when it comes to their chaos, trouble, and turmoil. This is someone who didn't tell the truth, and now the truth is the only way out. This is someone you've been patient with. You were compromising with this energy, but I feel the destruction they caused caused some type of inspired action when it comes to you. There's a lot of manipulation behind the truth. It's hidden. This is someone who's being shady behind concealing something. They're just running instead of taking care of something. They're on the edge. They're nervous and decisive about the separation because they failed to change. I feel like this, this energy is sitting in that energy because they know they should have did better while they were with you and while the, they've been separated mentally or physically, this energy has still not changed. There's still a risk. This is someone who is still not compromising when it comes to love or life. They're still holding back, being stingy. Still holding back when it comes to illusions and betrayal. This energy is stuck, embarrassed, humiliated, and disappointed. And disappointed. This is someone who is very dis defensive. You can't tell them nothing. And it's not because they think they know everything. They just feel like everything is a dig. You're throwing shade, or you're trying to be funny, or you're trying to call them out. It's it's never a situation where they feel like you're speaking out of love or facts. This is someone who's always taking offense to your heart or your words, your effort. But I feel justice will be served because someone is completely stressed out. Someone is stressed out when it comes to worry and problems, overload when it comes to finances. Someone is trying to build but has no clue how to do it. This is someone who is sitting in a space of being judged as balance is playing out through their life. This is karma. This is judgment. 
where someone is being passive aggressive or very combative when it comes to their losses but i feel these losses are to create ba balance as well to show this person what can be lost when things are not handled with care this is someone who is very stubborn still hiding a truth but there's gossip and secrets there's rumors floating around that may expose everything someone's about to do something out of spite to expose them but it will create some type of transformation or rebirth, whatever that may be. This will be a renewal, a resurrection, a revival. Someone knows that you seek the truth. I feel this rebirth is for you as well. I feel like this is someone who is very careless, offensive, very ruthless with their energy. I feel like this is someone who is li living boldly, stubbornly when it comes to a third party that they felt was clear. They thought that their mind was clear when it comes to this energy. But now this third party has become a burden, an obligation, a responsibility. I feel like this is someone who missed an opportunity when it comes to being in opposition with you. This is someone who thinks about how they should have made an effort when it comes to foundation, groundwork, solidarity. Someone realizes they should have stand, stood with you against a third party, but not putting in the effort, it's now become a burden. You have gone through a rebirth or a transformation through inspired action, prayer, manifestation, and many of you are living fearlessly. Hmm. While this energy is realizing they missed an opportunity, moving abruptly when it comes to an ending. There's unresolved energy here, unfinished business, but I feel justice is about to play out, fairness, reciprocity, and it will be shocking. I feel karma or consequence will be shocking when it comes to someone's debt, but something is also a sense of transformation or recovery. Someone thinks about giving you affection all the time because all they have left is the memories. But someone needs to put in more ideas, effort, vision, Someone needs to do more instead of cry about more. Someone needs to talk about it. Stop talking about it and be about it. Someone needs to move out of action instead of promises. Because I feel you've been patient enough. Many of you are never looking back because of all the tension and turbulence. But this energy has proven themselves wrong all the time. And you have always proven yourself to be loyal and confident. Strong. Hmm. Someone knows that you were everything that they wanted you to be, but someone just wanted to see what else was out there, or this energy was just not focused on the right things. This energy is just really never satisfied, and they're starting to realize they need to be more knowledgeable of their blessings. I feel like this is someone who did a lot of things for attention and clout that now seems to keep them broken, broken. I feel all of this stress that they've created has only caused them to be more distorted, less of who they should be and half of who they should be without you. But someone's going to have to go through it to get through it here. Because from what I see, they're going to have to go through way more sacrifice. Someone's going to have to go through loss and sacrifice, and they'll either sink or swim. But either way, they're going to have to find themselves through it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this message.